The other type of equality checking is referential equalities. And we can determine those using a different operator. So let's assume that we have one variable that's equal to 12 named A, and another variable that's equal to 12 is B. And now since every object, everything in Kotlin is an object, these you would think would be different objects. So if we were to run this, we're gonna use referential equality with the three equal signs, which is referential equality saying, hey, is A equal to the same object as B? We're gonna get true, which if you know about references in memory, this was not make any sense, except there is a caveat in Kotlin, and that is numbers, characters, and booleans, so numbers, and booleans all have a special represent internal representation, and they're represented as primitives at runtime. But to users, they look like ordinary classes. Therefore, the triples equals is the same effective thing as the double equals when we're using primitives. So let's get rid of these primitives here, and let's go ahead and we're gonna jump ahead real quick, and we're gonna create a class. And this is a, a very simple class with a user who has a name that is a string. And let's set person A equal to person, and we'll give them the name Don, and then person B will also have the same name Don. And then what we'll do is we'll do referential, a referential equality check here, run the program to see if object A equals object B. And as it runs down here, we have false, which means that object A does not equal object B, meaning that it does not share the same object. It's not the same object whatsoever. We could also change these things around and do referential inequality. So we would do exclamation equal equals. That would say object A does not equal object B. So they're not pointing at the same place in memory. So if we were to run this, you would see that we now get back true. And we're getting back true because person A is a completely different object than person B. They're stored in completely different parts of memory. So for referential integrity, we have the triple equals, which is equality, and then we have exclamation equals equals, which is inequality. 